Hi, the year back with Kevin Yurick, and this will be the advanced puzzle building tutorial number two. In this tutorial, you will be learning the process of smoothing a 3D printed master. And you'll see when you first get your 3D masters that they will have a texture on it of lines and you need to remove all this texture before you make your mold so it's hard to see on the camera but you can hear it when I rub my nail over it and on this this is a smooth piece and you will not hear the mat uh, hear the any noise for this part of the tutorial you'll need your plastic bonding you'll need sandpaper 1200 grit as well as 500 grit and you will need a plastic cup and possibly an exacto knife as well and you'll see that later so I'll start now I'm in my laundry room right now and I'm gonna show you the first part of smoothing your masterpiece what you're gonna do is take your 500 grit sandpaper and go ahead and wet it down and this prevents um, dust from kicking up from sanding and it's a lot cleaner. So what you're going to do is take your masterpiece and give each side a light sanding with 500 grit. So that should be about good. You do not want to sand too heavily or your um, masterpiece will be ruined. So only do a light sanding. So now that that's done, I'm just going to grab my 1,200 grit sandpaper and again wet it and give the piece again a light sanding there we have it now what that's done it has it has reduced the lines in the piece and it this piece is ready to be solvent smoothed and I'll do that once I go to my kitchen table alright so now we're gonna be solvent smoothing our masterpieces so we're gonna need our plastic bonding plastic cup and your master that you just did a light sanding with 500 and 1200 grit sandpaper and also you'll need an exacto knife first what you're going to do is basically jam your exacto knife into a part in the piece and I'm going to turn off the camera to do this because I need to focus not to cut myself alright so now I've got my exacto knife jammed into the piece just a little bit to hold it in place. You do not want to hold this with your fingers while you're doing this. And first what I'm going to do is take my bottle and go ahead and pour some solvent into the cup. I pour it about halfway up, so half an ounce. And then what you're going to do is dip your piece in the cup make sure to cover every single part and then take your brush and start painting it like I don't know how you'd paint it but just use smooth brush strokes and make sure to cover every single part of the piece hopefully you can see this 
See, I'm just doing small brush strokes, covering every single part of the piece. Make sure to get underneath the piece and the internal parts where the piece is going to turn. The same method, um, except for the sanding part, which is um, I got the sanding part of the tutorial. I learned that from David Litwin at a competition I went to. But this part of the, what, that I'm doing right now, I basically just got from Jusef's tutorial. Sorry, my uh, camera just shut off and I didn't know about it. But anyway, all you do is finish painting the piece, make sure to cover every single part, and make sure you don't have too much, uh, too much extra plastic bonding on the piece or else you'll form bubbles. So just make a nice thin coat of the um, plastic direct bonding over the piece. Once you've done that, put it in a cup like that to dry. Wait 20 to 30 minutes and then you're able to take the piece off. It's nice and smooth and you're done with this part of the tutorial. Next tutorial is how to make a mold box.